All right. Um, so I think we live. I think the uh, blinky lights on. Um, all right. Yeah. Uh, so last week you kind of talked about the, the primarchs, mm -hmm. and you you kind of said you wanted to do research. So you locked yourself in your room, mm -hmm. and all we did was hear weird noises for like a week. And now you show up here with that wedding dress and uh, flowers and pretty stuff. And you, you just told me to get up here with the camera, so I'm I'm kind of curious, but I'm also mainly scared, so... Well, during my research, I happened upon a brand new friend of mine on the interwebs. She goes by Dusky. She is what is called a tech thing. I, I don't actually remember the word for it, but in my research trying to find out who these Primarchs are, I met my new friend. And she and I spent hours talking about them, how cute they were, how nice they seemed, all of this fantastic stuff. You won't believe half of it. So, so she and I came up with a very nice list. A list on which Primark will become the best husbando. We have a list of all 18 Primarks on which one will be the best bestest husbando ever 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 hey, the list you gave me said there was 20 of them technically there was 20 but it seems like two of them are currently missing oh like like dead missing or uh, we, we don't know where they are miss no i they're just missing primarchs missing primarchs but for right now we're only going to do 18 Technically 19 because there's a set of twins, but those two are together. You hear that, ladies? That one comes in pairs. Woo! Um, so, so I, don't, I don't got a list, so this is all on you. I'm just going to be here with the camera. Okay. I got my list somewhere over here, off to the side, so I can always look at it because... Yeah, I think, I think Terry's holding on to it. Thanks, Terry! I don't think he hurt you. No, he probably didn't hear me. He can't hear much nowadays. Paul, can you help Terry hold that sign? Thank you. Okay, okay, so we're gonna start. 18 is the boy named Conrad. He sits alone in the dark, listens to nothing but death metal. He's selfish as all hell. He would most likely kidnap you and keep you in a cage. Now, as kinky as that is, that does not spell husband material. That just spells weird stock bullshit and we do not need that over here we're looking for great 100 percent husbands number 17 is angron now now i personally like angron i like him for his lore i like him for his character shit and i really enjoy his stories and books but my idea for angron is post nails angron he's very aggressive he's crazy he's very bloodthirsty and that's going to be some death by snoo snoo stuff there didn't now, you just say, like, a couple of weeks ago, you were into that? Shut up, I'm kink shaming. Now, pre nail Angron, he was a very passionate man. He was a protector and a helper. If we're talking pre nail Angron, he would so be up higher in my list. But we're talking post nail. Number 16 would be Lionel Johnson. Lionel Johnson's whole shtick is knights and shining armor bullshit. Like, think castle guard knights in space. He did not drink his respect woman juice. What is that? It just just means he's kind of a dick. And he is a very closed off person within a lot of his literature. And you don't want a closed off husband. You're not going to get shit anywhere. You're not going to be able to talk. You're not going to be able to communicate properly. And like your sex life is just ruined. Number 15 will be Ferris Manus. Or as I like to call him. Johnny Silverhand. So he's got big metal mates he uses to punch folk. Yeah, yeah. His old thing is the Gorgon is the survival of the fittest. He doesn't have time for your weak ass shit and he's kind of boring. Pers perforado. Perspirado. Perspiration. Perforado. Who named this poor bastard? Yeah. P-R-T. Uh, Pert. Perturabo. 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 Ah. 
He grew up in a really shitty world full of just backstabbing assholes. And he still holds that mentality close. But I, I think once you get to know him, he might open up a little more. He might be a very passionate man. And number 13 is Mortarian. Or as we like to call him, Hello Nurse. Uh, okay, whatever. His name does not inspire confidence because he kind of sounds like, uh, I don't know. The name just sounds threatening. I don't like him. Well, Mortarian grew up as a farmer, essentially, on a really disgusting, bullshitty world. It seems a lot of these guys grew up on disgusting, bullshitty worlds. He seems to be very inept with different apothecary sort of things, you know? He's he's doctor, he's nurse boy, he's blah, blah. And I, I bet Mortarian, due to his elaborate farming background, and that he still has different farms on his spaceships and stuff, I bet he would make you such really pretty flowers. He would grow you the prettiest of flowers. Now, number 12 is going to be, is going to be Alpharius and Omegon. They are the twins of the Alpha Legion. Blah, 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 blah. You really can't have one without the other, it seems. And unless you're seriously into that poly relationship thing, I wouldn't go for it. Personally speaking, at least. I know people who are down for it. And they're totally cool with it. They might be down for this. They're very secretive. They're... It's a value deal. Two for one. Buy uh -huh. one, get one free. Ah! <laughs> Look at you telling jokes. That's my job. But That's a really good one. They all show up for me. Oh, the show. That's, oh. What the, that's what my dear old mum always used to say. Number 11 would be Lorgar. Now, Lorgar is a very manipulative man. He didn't exactly grow up knowing the basic foundations of a healthy relationship. That bitch will fuck you over if it has a great means to the end. Number 10 is going to be Horus Lupercal. He'll be the biggest piece of shit that you'll ever meet. He'll be a decent ass lay, but is it really going to be worth it in the end? And, you know, between, between you and me, my friend Dusky says he's a whore. Number 10 is going to be Lehman Russ, the All-Father, the Wolf-Father himself. He's... He's a werewolf. So Lehman Russ is basically your frat boyfriend. He's going to drink way too much, but he's going to be super awesome to hang out with. Dating, on the other hand, maybe? He's nine for a reason, you know. But your boy is totally going to be DDF, so... And next, we have Jagate Con... Jagatine... Jagatine... Jagat... Jaga Mike Jagger Con. Jag your titties con. Jagatine Con. Now this boy, fast and furious, gotta go fast, speed demon McQueen boy, is apparently from a very semi kind of respectful world. So he's gonna be a cool dude. He is gonna be your super shade goer, tea spilling friend though. So that's gonna be awesome. Surprise you don't know. I've learned to just hold my tongue because I'm not really gonna get any answers. Number seven, we have Magnus the Red! Yay! Now Magnus is going to come with 27 cats. 37 cats. 50, 12 cats. Uh, like 50 or 12 cats. Exactly. I don't even think he knows how many cats he's going to come with. But Magnus is probably going to pay more attention to those cats than to you. But he has a pretty big lap, so at least he can sit in his lap while he's reading to you and his cats. So, it's a good deal. I explained why he's red. Why is he called the Red? Is he like a big violent guy like he's called the red because of all the blood of his enemies no no he his skin is red like 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 you see that back there red he's that red so he's like a demon no his skin is just red is he like half tiefling or something no his skin is just red did he get really badly sunburned probably the, probably yeah probably next we have primarch rogel dorn in number six now, Rogodorn is one of the few Primarchs that has ever specified that he was able to cook. So, you got yourself a cooking man, so that's always good. And then Rogodorn also builds, uh, fortifies, he fortifies, he constructs, he builds magnificent buildings. So, you got yourself a handyman and a cook. And that almost spells the perfect man. He seems super boring and dull, though, so a little on the whacker there. That's why he's six. And next, we have number five. Primark Fulgrim, who was actually married different times, so he knows how to treat a wife. 
He outlived his wives, but that's a whole nother story. Books describe him as a nice, respectable man before he goes buttshit insane with chaos. Then he becomes a weird, kinky demon snake. And he's up on the list, why? Well, he was married, so he's gonna know how to treat a married woman. Yeah, but now he's a crazy snake man. I guess. Oh, he actually wrote back to me. Would you like to hear it? I mean, I think the crazy snake man would try to do weird snake things to us if we didn't. Yeah, that's true. Ahem. My, my dearest, dearest little, little man, man, as, as I am most appreciative with you wanting to touch my perfect body, I must decline your offers. All hands are small to me, dear, so yours won't make anything else look bigger than the average human would. That said, I request you stop writing to me before I have you arrested. But considering these letters, I suspect you might just enjoy that, wouldn't you? Best wishes, Primark Fulgrim. I think he used a lot of big words. He likes to sound fancy. In all the pictures that I've seen of him, he seems like a super fancy dude. He's got really pretty white hair, and he's in all purple. And purple's such a nice color. It's totally not an evil color. I don't care what any Vigit game says. It's not a bad color. Uh, boss, I don't yeah. want to alarm you, but yeah? you seem to be describing a disgusting elf. I said... His ears aren't pointy. He has perfectly round ears. Human round ears. Yeah, but he's got like all the other descriptors of a disgusting elf. He tries to speak all fancy. He wears purple, white hair, which is not a natural hair color. You can't tell me I'm wrong. Um, nah. I'll bet he's all spindly too. Fuck you. I thought you were weird before. Now you're telling me you're an elf lover now. I am not an elf lover. Those damn dirty elves. Those, those, no, 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 no. I am not an elf lover. Paul, how do you feel about elves? <laughs> exactly. Paul knows how it is. Number four, we have Corvus Corax. He is a big bird. You mean, you mean like a common crow. Uh... That, that, that is literally the name that the wizards give to common crow. I know. This man is named after a bird. I know. He's named after a raven, actually. Or are they the same thing? They, they both got black feathers. We, can, we, we can't bring this discussion up. It's going to cause a lot of problems. Because some people say they are the same thing. People are going to say they're not the same thing. It's, it's a problem. And we will let the viewers decide that one. Corvus is a very emotional-hearted man. He Apparently, he likes to write really weird poetry. And apparently he likes to use really colorful cuss words, if jokes aside are being truthful. And who doesn't like colorful cuss words in poetry? Who? Wait, you said you don't love it. No, I said I do. I do. Yeah, but I... you said who doesn't love it, and then you said oh, I do. It's... Shut up, I love it. It's awesome. He's cool. He's number four. Learn how to speak four. goblin properly, come on. Oh it's not god. that hard. Oh my god, I... Enunciate your words. We're not speaking Elvish here. You're pissing me off today, sir. You're pissing me off. Yeah. What did you just call me? Sir! Mister! I have a name. Did you forget my name? Yeah... Wait, what about you, Paul? You remember my name, right? We, we were talking at lunch. Ah. Uh. Like two weeks ago, when we actually had food. Yes. Yeah, what's my name? Yes, yes. Oh my god, you all forgot my name. So, Listen, my name, just for all of you out there, my name is... Okay, 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 we'll know your name from now on. We hey, have it. On. I've been working here, I've been here for weeks already. I'm I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need to get name tags for everyone. Very rude. I'm You've sorry. been calling me you and him and whatever. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. You're right. Can we can we continue? Yes, I'm not okay. very happy about it. I'm sorry. You know what? It's to help you, you know, there's three boxes behind me. Would you like all three of those? Do they actually have food inside, or are they just the boxes? I mean, I'll settle for that. They have food inside of them. Some of them even have fruit. Those boxes doing in the bushes outside of the time. Have you been hoarding food? No, 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 no. I went to the village 
and found those next to a crying man. It's dark. He was crying. He's not going to use them, apparently, because his girlfriend, Tabitha, ended up cheating on him with his evil twin brother, Eduardo. And it is just really weird, dude. So I was like, oh, are you going to use those? And he's like, no, I'm not, no, not going to use those. And I was like, okay, cool. Can I take them? He's like, yeah, just take them. Oh, yeah, you can just take them. I'm not going to need them anymore. Tabitha doesn't love me. And so I took them, and now they're behind us. And now they're full of food. Now, number three, we have one of the most loved Primarchs of all, Sanguinius. He is a large vampire guy with large angel wings. And apparently everyone really loves him because he's such a pure, kind-hearted individual who takes really good care of his sons and the common person. And if you have a biting kink, he is totally Fang Daddy. No, just saying. I don't like getting bit. The rage bite. Hurts. But did you use the stick I gave you? Oh, to beat him off of me, yeah. Yes. Yeah, just beat him. It's what I've been doing. Number two, we have Rabute Gilliman, or Robot Girly Man, or the name Steve, can you think of? This last time called him Robot Gorilla Man. Robot Gorilla Man. Rabute Gilliman is the maker of Respect Women Juice. He made that juice, he delivered it to people, they drank it if they respected that their whamans, and he respects his their whamans. Rebute Gilliman is also a man that you could take home to your mother. As he has a, had, before she passed away, a very good relationship with his mother. You know, his mom is probably going to visit you often, but probably at the worst time. But, unfortunately, Rebute Gilliman might have an Eldar wife. So, and number one, we have Primark Vulcan. Now, Vulcan grew up in a community that really put its family first. He knows the importance of having a family and keeping it all together. Vulcan is the barbecue king. He is going to make you the best food along with his son. So I hope you enjoy a already pre-made family. That is our lovely list on what Primark would make the best husband. I'm really happy you guys could join us today. Over. Yeah, that's it's this list. Uh, I, don't know uh, yeah, I, kind of, I kind of zoned out throughout half of that and started making noise halfway through. Um, dude! Dude! dude. What, what? Thank you again for joining us. I hope that our next video will be very entertaining to you all. It might not be Primark based again, but at least it'll be something fun. We'll play some video games or we'll mess around again. Or... So where did you get that wedding dress from? I don't get it. In your size. Probably. You don't need, you don't need to know. You don't need to know where I found it, how much money it cost me to get this found and turned into my size. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll... You bought a wedding dress for our winnings, didn't you? I thought we were going to use that money to hire some guys. Uh, we got to spend money to make money. Okay? Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Spend the monies to make the monies. You, you confuse me. <laughs> okay, okay, so. Oh, your rooms are shit, so don't take your laptop. Oh, oh, crap, crap. Oh, I don't, I don't want to run. No, you, just, just, drop the camera again, drop the camera again, drop oh, the camera again, drop the camera again. Drop just the camera. take me to jail. Ah!